Yeah, I like these famous people and that, but I think it's kind of ruined the world in a kind of way to what we see today. Yeah. You know, it's changed the world where, you know, like you've got the rich people, which everyone's paying for, you know, like paying TV licenses as well. You know, so all the rich people and famous people are acting yeah. and getting money. Yeah. You know, I, I personally think like acting really is really to soar in our world in a kind of way where people are not doing much, you know, anymore, like farming anymore, they're actually sort of doing, having fun on stage like little kids. Well, I think the problem is, it's one of the biggest problems, I think, is also, why are we paying people, why are people getting paid a quarter of a million pounds a week to play football, when nurses, who are saving people's life on a daily basis yeah, and helping people helping people and all this type of shit are getting paid like, like 30k or under 30k a year and struggling to survive and shit. This is what I'm saying. The system is messed up. Don't get me wrong, people should be paid well for what they do. But everyone should be paid well for what they do, if you see what I mean. Everyone Fuck this living wage, you know what I mean? This whole, what is the living wage? You know, people need a, a wage, you know what I mean? That they can live comfortably. And they know that when they get when they go to work and they do get paid, that they can look after themselves and their family and they don't have to get into debt and they don't have to stress about, you know what I mean? Getting into huge amounts of debt and, you know, people coming knocking at their door and all that type of shit, you know what I mean? Like it's the stresses and pressures that comes along with that. Um, That's the thing, people so fall out over money, don't they? Do you know what I mean? And families, they, sometimes they fall out over Money out. causes the biggest divides, mate. Sometimes people fall out over 10 quid. Or, you know, don't mate, know. I've seen people in the Caribbean fight and almost like, want to kill each other for 10, 5, 10 dollars sometimes, yeah. mate. Yeah, that's, yeah. I've got, that's Barbados dollars too. 5, 10 dollars Barbados. I've seen that happen before. People want to fight and kill each other for that type of, like, just, you know. Every small amount of money. Yeah, and then loads of women going to prostitution to make money, all right? You know, we're living yeah. in a very wicked world, all right? You know, it, you know, some people hack people to make money, you know, and sending letters through the door, you know. They, you know, we're living in a really sort of scammy world, really, where everyone's fighting for money to get rich, you know? Yeah. And personally, all right, yeah? Yeah. I'm not one of those. <laughs> I feel mm. like I'm already rich. I don't need to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm alive. Yeah. You know, and that's one thing people don't appreciate, you know, like their own spirit again. We'll go, we'll go back onto that one, you know? Yeah. You know, you can't buy a spirit, can you? Yeah. You know, and if you want money and hunting for money all your life, I think, and looking at diamonds every day, for instance, yeah? Mm. You know, because you, you're fascinated by every day. Yeah. But when you get old, that's what you're going to be your memories. But that's what you've got to think about. Going back to what you were talking about before with the whole narcissistic thing, right, mate? Yeah. I think there are some people out there that are so cold and almost like they're soulless. Yeah, of course they are. Oh. They have no conscience for other people, no, no. no empathy, no, no, com no compassion, no love, no, no. no kindness. This is what people no are losing. Etc. for people. Oh, this they is what are people just are power hungry and driven on control. Everything is about control and power. And manipulation and greed. This is the problem with the system. This is a, this is the problem with the system. It's, you know, it's madness, yeah. really, isn't it? All right, because like, you know, we we all know the God's prayer and all this, and we know that greed's all wrong, mm. don't we? Yeah, and we got it mm. in this world. You know, and everyone's praying that, but it's actually existing. Greed, we can see it. You know, like. On the stage, uh, skateboard contest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, skateboard. Yeah. But yeah, we're we're existing where we've got to look at, and and all the poor people are actually looking at gold, or you know, with the queen and all that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And we've got to gloat and get jealous over it all, you know, and be poor. Yeah. You know, what what kind of world is that? You know, where we're, and she's talking about Jesus and. Don't be greedy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, just not making sense. And, and all this, all this things it's about, all this stuff about live within your means and all this <laughs> stuff. 
while there she sat there with a crown on her head. Spending millions of pounds. A crown on her head worth about it. ten million pounds. This crown's worth about ten million pounds because it's got all these diamonds and rubies. Well, it, and yeah. all this stuff in it. The thing about that crown, yeah, it has got a lot of history to it. You know, like for instance, sort of one of the rubies was given. You know. Yeah, but now, now they want it back. Maybe, yeah. You know, now they've been, they've been, all these countries have been asking back yeah. for all their shit. Yeah, but all these little things come were gifts or something from different kings or something, you know, from mm. you know whatever. Mm. And it's a bit comp. I don't know everything about that crowd. I don't want to study. Well, I'm it. just saying, how can you be telling people to live within their means when no disrespect? You know what I mean? I don't mean any disrespect whatsoever. You know, to the royal family or, 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 or anything like that. I'm just saying. How can you tell people to live within their means when you don't, you know nothing about living within your means? No. You don't understand the everyday reality of the average person. You never have, have, and never will do, under, never will understand the life and struggle of the, of the average person. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? She gets her wealth fall from the poor. Mm. You know, the poor are actually holding her up there, you know, and giving her the money in a kind of way, in a funny way, you know, like, it, that's the way it is, really, you know, like saving. Wow. We fund these people to have lavish, extravagant lifestyles and to pay for all these different things, and, you know, meanwhile, the average person is just suffering today, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, mate, they don't like to talk about it, they make, like, they make it seem like it's all good, you know what I mean, and, Every, it's all great and people, you know, life isn't too bad, but a lot, of, a large majority of people, working class people out there today are suffering and struggling, you know? Yeah. You know? And then they pay for their rent, whatever, a lot of people, don't they? Yeah, and they're working all the time. They just sort of sleep in there. You're paying for, it's almost like a hotel. Yeah, it's, it's, you're not really, you, you, you're not really even living there, are you? You're, you're basically you're, working. You're working to pay for somewhere that you don't even, you, you're hardly ever at. Mm. If you see what I mean, you know? So I think, to be fair, everyone should have a house. Mm. You know, yeah. if you get married or you find a girlfriend, then everyone should get a house. Yeah. Then if you have one child, they should give you a two-bedroom house. If you've got three children, they should give you a three but you know, like mm. that. You know, do you know what I mean? Not all yeah. this waiting game, all this crap. Yeah, I don't know. And you know, you might be lucky to get a house, or you might not be lucky. Mm. Or your children stuck in small conditions, that's another thing, you know, like space is so important. Mm. You know, I can remember my family, you know, we um, we moved to this house, you know, and then we had another baby, so we had two children. And the house is so small, right, and so tight, you know, it's like a cupboard almost, you know, it's quite small. That, you know, spiritually, talking about spirits again, that we were getting on top of Shabba a little bit, you know, and it is annoying, you know, because I think, like, the children need space and they need a garden to run around in, you know, and I think they should have that by law, really, you know. Yeah. You know, but, you know, as soon as a couple have a child, child yeah, they, they a get a house with a garden, yeah. you know. Yeah. The time that child's free. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that will make that child spiritually a lot happy. Definitely. So, happy know, have a garden to play in. You know, a little private garden where it's not going to get run over or anything, you know. Mm. And that's, you know, that's all a child needs, right? To be spiritually free, mm. spiritually happy, spiritually loved, mm. spiritually guided by everyone, you know, looked after, you know, make sure it's not jumping off the wall or something, you know, doing something stupid, mm. you know. That's all a child needs. It's like they don't need spoil. I mean, spoil. You yeah. know, and and I, I mean, I love my children. I, I really did. You know, I miss it now. You know, so sort of like taking somewhere. Yeah. And playing with yeah. you know and having fun with them. You know, and it's magical. Yeah. You, know, you can have some magic together. You know, and then you can always remember that spiritually moment together. Yeah. You know, it's a moment that for all of you to remember if you can have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can spiritually take that to your future at that moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's and, true. And that's how you make your spirit more beautiful, I think, you know, like by striving to learn. Yeah. Striving to get up, you know, be positive for you, I think, you know. Yeah. I know it might be difficult for some people to do that, you know. Even I've got things that have happened to me in my past that I've got to carry, you know. But... We all do. But... 
I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, like, I'm not going to let that ruin my life, you know, because you just got to keep, you know, kind of, you know, think to yourself, all right, I've had that happen to me, all right. A lot of people, even Josh has had something happen to him, whatever, yeah. But we've all shared something. You know that we've had something bad happen to us. I think you know. Everyone goes through shit in life. You know, don't mean even if you're a silver spoon. Everyone, right? everyone, even if everyone. You're a silver spoon. Yeah, some worse than others, of course. That's just how life works. Is, mm. but you know. And some people might not like silver spoons, but I accept them because they, they, it's not their fault. But it's not their fault. Again, you you don't choose your parents. No. Yeah. You don't choose where you're born. What where you're born. You don't even choose to be born here, really. You're just you're born. You're, you're just born. born. And then your parents have sex, so, and, and that's as simple as that. But then you're growing up, and then you're looking at your mum and dad, and realizing that's your mum and dad. And it could have been another one, really. You know, that's just the way you're born. Do you know what I mean? I think. That was just your mum and dad having a good moment. Having a good moment together. And sharing, three minutes sharing DNA. Sharing DNA. Three minutes sharing DNA. Three minutes of fun, yeah. and then afterwards you said, "Oh, you know, you're absolutely worn out." Well, asleep. I hope not. I hope not. Three minutes, mate. And then nine, I'm um, sort of eight months later, I'm pregnant. You know, <laughs> oh, what? Well, less than well, not nine months pregnant. Yeah, maybe a month later. Yeah. Oh, you know. By the way. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd say, I mean, even before you were born, you were kind of alive. The heart was beating inside the belly, you know? Yeah, you were in the, in the womb. You were alive. Yeah. Hence why they call a woman. Yeah. The womb man. That's right. The woman. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll do that one. And the man comes from the womb man. Mm -hmm. From the womb. Mm -hmm. The womb. Yeah. 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 Well, that was a spiritual journey, wasn't it, Josh? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I hope. I hope that you know. Hope you, you know. Hope the viewers kind of enjoyed this week's episode, and you know, our kind of take on spirituality. Um, we might do a part two to spirituality. I don't. One I day in the future. I, in the future, yeah. I maybe five years time. Well, maybe not that far away, but I think, I don't know if we've touched on everything, um, if we've spoken about all the, you know, I don't know if we've encapsulated everything, all of our thoughts on spirituality that we probably wanted to in this week's episode, because um, it is such a diverse topic and there's so many bits, so much, so many like different things you could like divulge and talk about, you know, in regards to spirituality. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think, I, just, think, I think what, what you know, I, I think, I hope, you know, I think what we've said, you know, it's, it's been good, you know. I think it's just um, important to be a happy spirit. Yeah. That's what's important. Mm, definitely. And not a nasty spirit, mm. you know. Yeah. So one thing I've never been really in my life, I don't like being nasty. Yeah, likewise, yeah. You know, and I think like if you are nasty, that's your problem. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to move on a, on a positive vibe, positive frequency, positive, you know. Yeah. Be, 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 be beautiful, even if you're ugly. I don't think anyone's ugly there. Yeah, but even if I'm ugly, all right, to some people, all right, I'm going to be beautiful. Mm. Okay? Mm. That's what I mean, you know. I real, don't mean... real, real beauty, that real beauty is that inner beauty. You know, to me, even an all person would be beautiful. Mm. You know, really, really all person. It's, you know? To me, beauty, like, as you get older, you start, you start to realise and understand that it's up, well, it's a topic for a whole another day. Yeah, yeah. But beauty is an inner thing. Beauty is a person's character for me and their personality and their morals and their principles and their integrity and, and how they carry themselves and their, their, how they, you know, how driven they are, whether it be in their career or their... Um, personal life or, you know, it's, you know, so yeah. No, I think you're a good spirit, Josh. Mm. Let's put it that way. Well, I try to be me. I try to be me, you good. know. Um, um, He's, yeah. I try to, I just try to live my life. Great as, spirit. I just try to live my life, I just try to be the best version of myself. Every day that I wake up, I try to be a, a better per. the next day, every, as well, each day passes, greater. I just try to be a better person each day. Get great. I you? think that's the goal, and I try to be a better person each day. Try to achieve more each day. Try to learn more each day. Try to 
be better at my responsibilities and everything else that I've got going on each day. I try to just get better in every aspect and every area of my life. And you do every every day. If you see what I mean, like I try to, you know, I try to improve on, you know, I always try to be a better parent. You know, even though my what everyone, even my wife, everyone through that, I'm like, you know, I'm an amazing parent. You know, um, but I do, so you can always be better. So you know, it's always that thing of trying to always be better. You know, trying to. You know, trying to just you know. Well, you do get greater every day. Don't try, you? Trying to advance. You get greater advance as a human. You get greater every day as long as you try. Yeah. Try That's to be it. a better. Try to be a better husband. Try to be a better friend. Try to be a better son. Try to be a better a better brother. Try to be a better um, artist, musician. Try to be a better whatever. Because well, I'm not married anymore, I don't have to be a better husband. Do you know what I mean? I'm freer to be. Not a husband anymore. Do you know what I mean? Doing my own stuff. Mm. You know, so I'm I'm free really of, of all that. You know. And the constraints. It's quite actually. It's you know when you marry, you know, get meet someone and marry someone. It's quite a spiritual. You know, you um you give give yourself up spiritually. You know, oh yeah, you yeah, know. for sure. You well, you're essentially saying that you're dedicating your life to want to that person essentially. Mm. You know? And sometimes you've got to spiritually do things together a little bit in life, you know, share the same spiritual well, journey. I think it. that's very important, that spiritual journey together, like not only connecting physically, mentally, etc., but spiritually is very important too, you know, because a lot of us out here, you know, most people are on different spiritual journeys, you know, especially today in this day and age where there's so much information that's easily accessible and available that people... Uh, a lot of people are seeking knowledge and having a great understanding of all sorts of stuff, if you see what I mean. And a lot of people are really in tune with spirituality today, you know. Um, and people want to find someone who's compatible with them in regards to what they believe and what they're, you know, you know, etc. You know, what they're interested in, you know, in terms of spirituality, you know. Um, I think, like, like spirit, sorry, physically, yeah. when the body's going in order. You know, and it dies, doesn't it? Mm. You know, so the body, the physically, is not here forever. Mm. You know, but like when a baby's born, then it slowly gets older, and it's sort of like when 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 it's mature, adult, old, it's more wrinkly, you yeah. know, dried up. You know, but spiritually, it's sort of like water. Like water stays the same age. You know, if you look at water, sort of two thousand years ago, it looks exactly the same as it does today. Mm -hmm. And spiritually, kind of thing, it, it does kind of like understand more of the spirit as it gets older, but it's kind of frozen in time in a funny way where you can remember the past, yeah, as it's going on and on as you're getting older, yeah. But it's kind of one moment, your life is one moment, it's like one memory, yeah. Like now, I can sort of see everything, you know, like all the years down the line, it's all one memory, yeah. yeah. You know, and I can kind of look at that or this or that, you know, in, in my personal past. Yeah. But well, you can, you yeah. know. It's all interesting stuff, you know. It's all interesting stuff. Yeah. It's, it, 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 you know, life is a spiritual journey, you know, where we, but we're born and then we slowly grow old, we learn, and then one day we die, you know. Um, mm. Some people die young, some people reach old and they learn a lot, you know. Yeah. Some people, some young people learn a lot, you know, like, you can get very intelligent ten-year-olds, you know, that know to, like ten languages and things, you know, or so on. Yeah, which is crazy, yeah. You know, they're spiritually, you know, I don't know how they learn so much in little time in a funny way, do you know what I mean? It's, it's quite a miracle in a funny way, you know. Yeah. Some children, honestly, sort of, at a very early age, know how to play piano. Yeah. For instance, you know, really, 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 like they've really been, well. well, like they've been there for 20 years there in a funny way, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know? That's like a, that's, that's a gift though to me. When I see young children like that playing the piano at such a high level or, or any of these things, anything like that, it, to me that's just a gift. Yeah, well, I'm wondering whether this is spirit, some other spiritual world sort of giving them the intelligence in a kind of way, you know? You know, because sometimes I do find there's an outer intelligence giving you intelligence, as long as you your imagination is open up to it. Yeah. You know, sometimes I do find that. You know, when I'm really sort of 
my imagination's opened up so much. I find, I, I feel that there's intelligent beings out there talking, communicating with me, not talking, but communicating somehow with me. I, you know, I don't know whether I'm right or yeah. I'm getting embarrassed now because <laughs> it's getting a little bit creaky. <laughs> right. But yeah. 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 Spiritual world. Yeah, that's it, mate. Spiritual life, you know. Spiritual Do we go on, though? Do, you know, like, like when we do, is does. Do do our do we carry on existing? Yeah. What you what are your guys' thoughts? You know what I mean. Just leave a you know leave a comment down below. You know what I mean. And let us know what you think. What are your thoughts on that? Do we yeah. go to a next dimension? To yeah. The third, you know what fourth. Kind what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on that? Do we you know what happens in the afterlife? You know. I mean, it's quite a strange life, isn't it? You know, like we're living here, right? And water, trees, birds. You know, and. You kind of realise we're not here forever as well, you know. And, you know, like in another hundred years' time, we're all gone. Yeah, that's it. All part. of us, you know. And people, you know, like in a hundred years' time, some of, you know, on YouTube be, might, might be watching us. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and we'll be dead. <laughs> but then, you know, time is, again, it goes so quickly. Yes, true. You know, like ten years to me is like a year now, you know. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's quite scary, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, sometimes I, you know, my spirit feels like I'm 21. Yeah. You know, but I'm 56, you know, and I think, you know, I mean, the spirit can, or the imagination can be whatever age it wants to, too. You know, you can pretend to be five if you close your eyes, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's got no age. Mm. I personally think the spirit's got no age. Body has. Mm. You know, you can sort of tell how old I am or whatever, maybe. I don't know. Right, but you can't you can't gauge your spirit, can you? How old it is in a kind of way, you know? Yeah. Unless you look at the body. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or I, you know, Paris, I just just don't think you know my spirit's got any age. You know, it's just it's ageless. Yeah. 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 Okay, mate. On that note. Um, I think we call it call it a night for this week's episode. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode on spirituality. Um, it's a bit you. boring, wasn't it? But um, I don't think it was boring. I think um, it's a bit boring in places. Yeah, I think it was introspective, and I think uh, we'd be definitely be interested to hear your you you know your guys' thoughts on spirituality and your, you know your guys' thoughts on the afterlife and all that kind of thing. Um, so like I said, please leave, please do leave a comment down below, you know, you know, um, we'd be really interested in that. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think this week's episode has been quite a good episode, you I know. I don't remember um, what we were talking about, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's all gone out of my head, all of it. I might remember it tomorrow, but not now, I see, you know. Yeah. I've been talking too much. Yeah, but it's been a good episode, and um, yeah, thank you to you guys for tuning in once again for this week's episode. And yeah, we had the Philosophy Podcast and we hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll be back again next week with another episode talking about more, all sorts of different stuff, um, all sorts of different subject matters, etc. Um, so yeah, just stay st um, stay tuned for that. And yeah, any any final thoughts or any closing statements? Yeah, I'm, just sort of, I'm just trying to think about what we're going to talk about next week and I'm just sort of thinking maybe laughter. Maybe. Maybe. We're thinking anyway. We're... we're when we're there, we're, we're come up with something. Yeah, when it gets to that, when, it get, when the time is right. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Three. Good night. One love. God bless. Bless up. <laughs>